Hi, this is Snowbird from GOM TV. I'm here with Doa at GSTL Finals in Las Vegas together with IPL4. It's very exciting to have you here. How do you feel? Oh man, I'm so excited. It's been like, this has been like so long in coming. We've been preparing for IPL4 for months and months and now it's finally here. We're in Las Vegas. The view is great and yeah, I'm just really psyched to be here. Can't wait to get casting games. Yes, this is actually the day before we actually start the tournament. It's Thursday now. Uh, people are getting ready, setting up the stage. It looks pretty awesome already. We're excited to get this going. Now, Doa, as you might know, Doa was casting for the GSL um, Code A and also GSTL and also some Code S. But then he left us for IPL, which we're still very sad about. Um, how do you feel at IPL and do you miss Korea and GOM TV? Oh, yeah, of course I miss Korea and GOM TV. It's, Korea is an amazing country, and, and GOM TV was an awesome company to work for, and, and I've still got so many friends. It's great to see everybody this weekend. Um, I, I really like IPL, though, too. I mean, they're, they're, I would say, easily the best North American esports organization. Um, and one of the things that I really wanted to happen when I left and joined, was, joined IPL was for the GSL and the IPL to have a good relationship and a good uh, longstanding partnership, and I'm really glad to see those things happen. So... I, I, I left GSL, but I feel like in a way I'm still like part of it, you know, because I'm still really trying to like have the two organizations work together and, and all that. So it's it's really good to see it happening. And and uh, yeah, I, I miss it a lot, but I like it here, too. But I know that if I, you know, visit Korea, I always have a bunch of friends there, too. So And um, apart from GSL and IPL, what do you miss about Korea, like the country itself? And what do you think are the... The good things about Korea and the bad things about Korea compared to the USA, li just from a living perspective. All right. Uh, well, Korea is a, is a really cool country to live in. I, I love it. Uh, everybody is really nice there. That's the thing is is that um, there nobody's rude. You know, everybody is very friendly. Uh, the food is is really good. It's it's much healthier. I think I think that's kind of a big bonus is that you. When I was in Korea, I walked a lot. You know, there's a lot more exercise. The food was healthier. So. That was kind of a big bonus for it too. Um, it it got a little bit a little bit like uh, crowded sometimes. You know, I mean, some of the subway rides you like packed in there like sardines in a can. But uh, you know, overall it was it was really nice. But it's cool to get back to the U.S. too and and see you know the countryside and the environments. Like California has a lot of cool things. I was just uh, it's it's cool in California because you can see the ocean and then you can see the redwoods and you can see you know mountains and stuff all in like the same day and so there's definitely pros and cons about both places but um, yeah I don't know it's I, you just try to take the best out of both places and and focus on that you know okay so GSTL finals this Saturday it's gonna be Prime versus Startail yeah what do you think about the matchup? Did you ex expect those two teams to advance? And um, who do you gonna predict to be the champion? Um, to be honest, I actually expected it to be the opposite. Um, I, I think that Startail and Prime totally deserve to be there uh, by, a, by a lot, you know, but I, I really expected MVP and FXO to be the teams that made it through. So I'm a little bit surprised at the way things have turned out. Um, I felt like MVP especially I expected to go through, but, you know, Startail's always been such a strong team. I mean, they made it to the first season finals, so it's not really that surprising to see them come back at the finals again. They've got a, a lot of depth to their team, a lot of just really solid players like Bomber, Curious, you know, all those guys. And um, on the Prime side, they're a very different team, but they're also very good because they've got, like, the superstars. You know, they've got Marine King, who's, like, unbeatable right now. They've got Creator, who's really, really good. They've got this new superstar in Maru. You know, Bung Bung is a very strong Zerg. But beyond that, they don't have a lot of strong players. I mean, Marine King keeps talking about Ghost King being a very strong player, but I feel like he has yet to show that. Um, I mean, Byun was pretty good in the GSL. He was always one of my favorite turns to watch, but I, I need to see some results, you know, before I'm going to be like, yeah, Byun's awesome again. Um, so I can't wait for the GSL finals. It's going to be such an interesting matchup. It's, it's going to be really fascinating, actually. Yeah, I think so too. Actually, Byun had a very good performance in the semifinals. Yeah. So crazy. I'm looking forward to how he's going to do in the finals itself. Um, I think we're going to wrap this up now. Um, any last words to your to your fans from the GSL and also the IPL, of course? 
Um, well, I, I keep getting tweets all the time that people miss me at the GSL, and uh, and thanks a lot, guys. It really means a lot to me that, that you guys like my casting so much. Um, I hope you guys watch me on the IPL, too, because the environment may have changed, but the casting and the games are all just as good. So hopefully you catch me on all that as well. And um, I guess, yeah, just thanks for supporting me. I mean, I mean, this weekend is one of those occasions where I get to meet a lot of my fans, and it's it's always a bit overwhelming, you know, to, to meet people like that. And... Uh, yeah, so just huge amount of thanks to all my fans out there. It's it's great. I'll keep tr I'll keep working hard.